Hello guys, welcome back to A7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily A7 Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the frame analysis. In this lecture, we are going to find out the support reactions for this frame and draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this frame. This frame has been supported by two supports. One is the lower support and the other is a hinge support. And this frame has one beam consisting of two vertical columns. So this beam has been supported by the two vertical members known as the columns. The column length is 8 meter. So both of the columns have the same length of 8 meter and the beam length is 10 meter. This beam has been loaded with a 4 kN per meter uniformly distributed load. And this column has been acted with a load of 5 kN at the center of this column which is a distance of 4 meter from this end up to this point. So this load acts at the center of this column and this column has no load. So first we have to find out the support reactions and then we can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this frame. So to start with the point A, let's suppose this is point A and this support is represented by point B. This is a rotor support so it can take only the vertical load presented by RA. And this is a hinge support, so it can resist both the vertical and horizontal load. So the vertical load will be RBY and the horizontal load will be RBX. So now to start with the support reactions, we have, let's consider the summation of moment at point B is equal to zero. Now let the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise taken moment is taken as negative. This is our sign convention for this frame. So the moment about point A will be the RA will create clockwise moment because this we suppose that this force is acting upward so it will create clockwise moment about point B so it will be positive because clockwise is taken as positive RA multiply with the moment arm so the distance from this point up to the B point is the 10 meter distance while the other force that creates the moment is 5 kN, it creates the moment 5 into the moment arm is 4, but this also, but this force now creates the moment in the anti-clockwise direction. So minus 5 multiplying with the 4, four 5 is the load and 4 is the moment arm and it creates anti-clockwise, so it is a negative. Again, this uniformly distributed load will create the moment about point B. So 4 is the uniformly distributed load, multiplying it with the whole distance 10, multiplying it with the half of the 10, so we have 5. Because this concentrated load, first we have to convert into the, first we have to convert this uniformly distributed load into concentrated load, and then we have to take the moment arm. So 4 into 10 will be a concentrated load, and this concentrated load will act at this point, at the center of this 10 meter. So we will have the moment arm here, 5 meter from this point up to the point B. So that's why we wrote it here is 5. So these were the all forces that create the moment about point B and summation of all these moments about point B is equal to 0 as we have wrote it here. So now 10 RA will be equal to if we move all these values into the right side we get this is 20 and this comes out to be 200. Now 10 RA comes out to be 220 and RA comes out to be, if we divide this by 10, we get 22 kilonewton. So RA reaction is 22 kilonewton. Now what will be the reaction of RBY? Similarly, we have to use the equilibrium equation, which is that the summation of vertical force is equal to zero. Summation of vertical force is equal to zero. And we suppose that the upward force is taken as positive and the downward force is taken as negative. So the upward force is RA and RBY. These are the upward forces, while this load, uniformly distributed load, is only force acting downward. So RA and RBY minus this 
uniformly distributed load which is 4 multiplied with the 10 equal to 0 and there is no other vertical load. This 5 is a horizontal load and we are taking only vertical loads. So R dy will be equal to if we move into the right side and subtract from this Ra so it will be 40 minus Ra 40 minus 22 we get 18 kilonewton. So the RBY reaction is 18 kilonewton. Now if we check the vertical load so 22 and 18 is equal to the load coming on this beam. So this, these are the vertical reaction. Now what will be the horizontal reaction? Is there is only one support that, re, that support this whole load 5 kN. So it will be directly transferred to this RBX. So RBX will be equal to the 5 kN. Because this is the only support that take the horizontal load. So first we find out the support reactions for this frame. Now we have to take this these support reactions in order to find out the shear force and bending moment diagram. So let's suppose first we draw the free body diagram for this frame. So free body diagram consists of only the beam and column. So let's suppose so this is the these are the two columns and this is the one beam we have of 10 meter. Now the support reactions here we have 22 kilonewton, here we have 18 kilonewton and this load is 4 kilonewton per meter. Similarly also this 5 kilonewton load x here And this 5 kN is resisted here by this hinge support. Now this 22 kN in frame in the case of frame we have to transfer this 12, 22 kN into the upside here it will act downwards. In order to make it in equilibrium this 22 will be resisted in the opposite direction by this force so this 22 is now balanced with this 22. Now at the joint this 22 will be transferred to this point and it will be also 22 kilonewton. Similarly this 18 kilonewton will be transferred to this point acting in downward direction. So now this is being supported by this 18 kilonewton and this 18 will be again transferred here to this point. So it will be 18 kilonewton. So this is the way how to how to calculate the forces for in the free body diagram for the frame. Now we can easily draw the shear force diagram from this free body diagram. So again I have to draw the reference lines for the beam and columns. This we know that this column has no transverse load. There is no transverse load acting on this column. So the shear force diagram for this column will be 0. And this column has a load of 5 kN. So we have to draw the shear force diagram for this column. So this 22 kN is acting upward. So this will be moved in upward direction with a magnitude of 22 kN. So I can write it here 22 kilonewton. Now this beam has been loaded with a uniformly distributed load acting in downward position and in a length of 10 meter. There is a 10 meter. So this 4 multiplying with 10 we got 4 multiplied by 10 we got 40. So this 40 is acting downward while this 22 was acting upward. So 22 minus 40 we get 18. So this will come into the 18. Here we can write 18. 18 kilonewton. So here is 18. So also we can see here that this 18 is present here. So it means we are going in the right direction.
So this is the shear force diagram for this beam. Now again, this 5 kN is acting. So we can draw the 5 here, 5 kN here, 5 kN load, and then there is no load acting on this column. So it will be straight line, and then we can join it here. So this is the shear force diagram for this column with a magnitude of 5 kN and this is the positive shear force and this is the negative shear force diagram for this beam. So this is the shear force diagram for this frame. Now in order to draw the bending moment diagram, I have to take help from the shear force diagram. So for bending moment diagram, I have to draw the reference lines. This is for the column and this is for the beam. This is again for the column. So we have the shear force diagram so we can take help from the shear force diagram to draw the bending moment diagram. So we have to find the area of the shear force boxes in order to find the bending moment diagram for the frame. So this we can see here the beam is a shear force diagram. This is a height of 22 kN and this is a triangle. So it is a height of 22 and we have to find this distance x. So how to find this x? Sim it's very simple. We know that this 22 kN load is acting upward and this distributed load uniformly distributed load is acting downward. So we can write 22 minus 4 multiplying with the x is equal to 0. So the point where it becomes 0 we don't know. That's why we multiply this 4 with the x. So it comes out to be 4x is equal to 22 and x is equal to the 5.5 meter. So it means that this x is 5.5 meter while this distance is the total is 10 meter. So if we subtract the 10 from 5.5 we got 4.5 meter. So now we know this triangle has a length of 5.5 meter and is a height of 22 meter, 22 kilonewton. So the area of this box will be is a triangle. So half based into height 22 multiplying it with the 5.5. So we got the area of this triangle 60.5. So 60.5 is the area of this box which is in upward direction. So it will be the bending moment diagram for this frame 60.5 60 kilonewton meter. Now this shear force is acting downward so it is negative. So now we have to find the area of this shear force box. So it is A2 it is equal to the half base into height, base is 4.5 and height is 18. Multiplying with 18, we got 40.5 and it is negative. So we have to subtract this 60.5 from 40.5. So we got 60.5 minus 40.5, we got 20. So we got 20 here. So it will come in negative direction because it is negative. So we have to subtract from here. So it will come up to the distance of 20. It is, this is 20 kN meter. So this is the bending moment diagram for this beam. Now for this column we have shear force of 5 kN and this is a length of 4 meter because this load was acting at a distance of 4 meter from this point. So, this is, so we have to find the area of this box, it will be A3, it is equal to the 5 is the load and 4 is the distance, so it comes out to be 20. So it means that the area of this box is 20, so it means the moment will be 20 kN meter. And then there is no box, so it will go straight. So we have 20 again here. So it means that this 20 kN meter was, we found out this 20 kN meter correctly because this 20 kN meter matches with this 20 kN meter. So this means that our bending moment diagram at this joint is finely. Hope you guys understand how to analyze the frame. For more civil engineering videos, don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching our video.